Learners' Quarterly Grades by Learning Areas in LIS Important Reminders Key Features accepts whole numbers only The minimum grade input is 60 The maximum grade input is 100 Automatically computes for the final grade per learning area and displays its corresponding remarks Saves the learner's grade even if the input is incomplete and generates an Excel copy of the learner's grade. Access is not yet available for the following. Public senior high school, public schools with special programs, all private schools, kindergarten, learners under SPED program, learners with enrollment issues like pending enrollment, transfers, and approval. Take note, for transferees, the receiving school will encode or recode their grades for the current school year. Here are the procedures of encoding quarterly grades. Go to LIS website, lis.deped.gov.ph, and log in using your account. Once logged in under DepEd Ops, click Learner Information System. Click the List of Classes tab and click the View Enrollment button. Click the pencil icon in the grading column. Input the grades in the text box. For example, for grade one, Filipino starts at second quarter, English starts at third quarter, no science subject with mother tongue subject. For grade two, no science subject with mother tongue subject. Kita po niyo dyan, first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, fourth quarter, final grade, and remarks. And then here, the same Filipino, English, Mathematics, AP, ESP, no science subject yet. For grade 3, the same thing. All subjects are here with mother tongue subject. For grades 4 to 10, so take note, everything is here, including the EPP or the TLE subject. So after that, click Save. A notification will appear. Learner has been updated. So you're going to click Save here. Learner with retained status. So, teachers, kapag mayroong mga bagsak, retain status in the final grade, magkakaroon siya ng uh, highlighted dyan. 74 failed, 73 failed, 72 failed. Retain 3 or more learning areas, got 74 below final rating. So, kapag tatlo yung meron siyang bagsak, makikita nyo dyan sa general average ay retain. Okay? Kahit meron na siyang average, still retain pa rin yun. Kahit yung average niya ay pasado, basta't meron siyang tatlong bagsak doon sa final grade, still retain diyan. Learner with conditionally promoted. So, we have here, 1 to 2 learning area got 74 below final rating. Okay, for example, here in mathematics, 73 failed for the final grade. Science, 72 failed. And the general average, still, kahit pa sa yung general average, 79, plus at meron doong failed na two, one or two subjects, still, it is conditionally promoted. Learner with promoted status, so kapag lahat pasado yan, may general average, kalagay, promoted. So, all learning areas got 75 to 89 final rating. Learner with promoted with honor status. So, nakalagay dyan lahat pass. And then, the general average is 91. Okay, the promoted with honors general average value is 90 to 94. So, promoted with honors. Learner with promoted high honor status, so kapag ang general average is 95 to 97, makikita nyo sa remarks is promoted 
with high honors. Learner with promoted highest honor status, the Hatang remarks say passed, and then the general average is 98 to 100, and then the stated remarks is promoted with highest honors. Next, to generate report, click the button report. Okay, so yan po. And then click the download Excel file from the download library. So once na na down na ano niyo na yan, nagawa niyo na lahat, you can download it. So the status will be reflected in the master list once updated. As you can see here, it's a red box promoted with uh nine with honors yan. So nakalagay diyan. Uh, status promoted with highest honors the general average value is 98 to 100 promoted with high honors general average value is 95 to 97 promoted with honors the general average value is 90 to 94 promoted all learning areas got 75 to 89 final rating Conditionally promoted, 1 to 2 learning areas got 74 below final rating. Retained, 3 or more learning areas got 74 below final rating. And no status, no input or incomplete input. Thank you for watching, so don't forget to subscribe in my YouTube account. Bye everyone!